Today, we're gonna to be making our pop art names. We're gonna start by making our background. We're gonna use a black piece of paper and we're gonna pick one colored paper. I'm going to use the red. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write our name and the day of the week on the back of each paper. Do it on your color and on your black. Now, I'm going to use my scissors, thumbs up, fingers in, to cut some triangles along each edge. These are those spikes like we saw in the artist's artwork. I am doing thin triangles, not thick and wide triangles. They can do taller, they can be smaller, but they should be thin spikes of a triangle. Make sure that you're cutting a shape and you're not just cutting lines because then we won't be able to see those spikes and we will not get the effect that we want. We're going to repeat that along every edge of our colored paper. I cut mine over my black paper so I can easily dump off those little triangles. I'm gonna use my glue. I turn the orange, see if it's breathing. Tap the bottom, pick the boogers if need be, and notice how I'm doing a dot, a tiny dot of glue along the edges of the back of my colored paper. Now I'm gonna carefully place that colored paper on my black and rub it into place. Once we have our background done, we're gonna add another layer. You can choose one of the colors, a white or one of the other primary colors. I'm using white. If you use white, you're able to use markers. Just the primary color, so that is our blue, our red, or our yellow to add some dots just to the white one. So if you want to do the dots, grab a white. You're gonna take your marker and put the top on the back and you're gonna carefully draw your dots. You're not smushing and smashing that marker to make dots, you're drawing dots, which means you put your marker down and you make that circle. But make sure it's all the way filled in. And you want all your dots about the same size. That gives us that comic book look. Don't forget your name on the back. And again, we are going to cut spiky triangles. Remember thin. This time we wanna cut a triangle at every corner of that square paper. So I'm turning mine to get every single corner complete. I'm gonna take those scraps and throw them out. I'm gonna grab my glue bottle and add a tiny dot of glue on the back. Now watch as I put mine down. I can have it going the same direction as the other papers or I can turn it on its side. It is up to you, whichever look you like the best. Rub and pat. We are going to pick a thin rectangle this time. I write my name on the back. I'm using a color I have not used yet. Now I'm going to take my name and I'm going to bubble cut it out. When I do my bubble cut, I want it nice and close to that letter, but not on the black. I go around each, but I want my letters all to stay together. I do not want them to separate. I decided to go and add some more spaces. Oh no, I realized my Y is a little too far away, so I'm actually gonna cut that one out, but don't worry, it'll go back on with the rest as I attach it to the background color. So I need my glue again, I turn that party hat, I flip it over, dot, dot, not a lot, and I make sure that Y goes on there. Again, I'm gonna bubble cut around, and then I have that next layer of color. I'm gonna decide how I want my name to fit on there, but I want it to pop off. So to get my pop art to pop off, we're gonna get a piece of cardboard, and we're gonna cut little strips, about as thick as your finger. So chomp that cardboard up, 
and then we are going to attach it to the back of our name. I did it in a layer of two, so I attach one piece of cardboard and then a second one behind it. Now I'm going to take that, turn it over, and attach it whatever direction I want it on my paper. I am careful as I press this. Now if I look, my name is popping off. There is our pop art names that pop off our paper.